What's up ladies and gents, Parasign here once again and welcome back to Silent Hill, oh wait, this isn't Silent Hill Downpour, this is Resident Evil 4, that's right guys, starting a brand new series, but for those of you who are enjoying my blind run of Silent Hill Downpour, don't worry, I'm still doing it, I just thought I'd throw this in the mix just to add something fresh, just mix up my channel a bit, get a few more videos going, the plan is to have a video from each series, a day so that's two videos a day if i've got two series going at the same time so anyway back to resident evil 4 i'm a huge fan of this game and i'll be playing on the professional difficulty which is the hardest difficulty and we'll just see how it goes from there i've played this game so many times so it shouldn't be too much of a problem so hopefully you guys can learn a few tips think of this as like a walkthrough slash guide I'll show you how I get through it in my own way. Maybe you can do it your way, but this is how I do it on professional difficulty, and it works for me. So let's watch some damn cutscenes. And in case I forgot to mention, this is the HD remake for the Xbox 360. Soon after, the news was out to the whole world, revealing that it was the fault of a secret viral experiment conducted by the international pharmaceutical enterprise, Umbrella. The virus broke out in a nearby mountain community, Raccoon City, and hit the peaceful little town with a devastating blow crippling its very foundation. Not taking any chances, the President of the United States ordered a contingency plan to sterilize Raccoon City. With the whole affair gone public, the United States government issued an indefinite suspension of business decree to Umbrella. Soon its stock prices crashed, and for all intents and purposes, Umbrella was finished. Six years have passed since that horrendous incident. I received special training via a secret organization working under the direct control of the president. I was to assume the responsibility of protecting the new president's family. Cornel, why am I the one who always gets the short end of the stick? Yo, who are you really? Come on and tell us. You are a long way from home, cowboy. You have my sympathies. Guess that's a local's way of breaking the ice. Anyway, you know what this is all about. My assignment is to search for the president's missing daughter. What? All by yourself? <laughs> I'm sure you boys didn't just tag along so we could sing Kumbaya together at some Boy Scout bonfire. Then again, maybe you did. <laughs> oh, you're crazy, American. It's a direct order from the chief himself. I tell you, it's no picnic. I'm counting on you guys. It was right before I was to take on my duties of protecting the president's daughter when she was abducted. That's the ultimate reason I'm in this lonely and rural part of Europe. According to our intelligence, there's reliable information about a sighting of a girl that looks very similar to the president's daughter. Apparently, she's being withheld by some unidentified group of people. Who would have thought that my first job would have been a rescue mission? Freezing. So cold all of a sudden. Eh, must be my imagination. Sorry it took so long.
Just up ahead is the village. I'll go and have a look around. Yeah, we'll stay and watch that car. Don't want to get any parking tickets. Right. Parking tickets. Good luck. Jeez. Who are these guys? Did you say something? Leon, I hope you can hear me. I'm Ingrid Hunnigan. I'll be your support on this mission. Loud and clear. Somehow I thought you'd be a little older. So the subject's name's Ashley Graham, right? That's right. She's the daughter of the president. So try to behave yourself, okay? <laughs> Whoever this group is, they sure picked the wrong girl to kidnap. I'll try to find some more information on my end as well. Good. Talk to you later. Leon out. So, chapter one, part one, starts us off with some shooting practice for some crows. Revenge. If any of you are familiar with my Silent Hill Downpour series, you'll realise I have a little bit of a fear of crows. They really creep me out in Silent Hill Downpour. Every time I turn my back, I've got one watching me, and it's not a good thing. But for killing them, you get a few extra little pesetas, which is the currency in this game, which comes in very useful. And there's our first enemy. The look on this guy's face has always reminds me of Harvey Keitel from Dust Till Dawn when he turns into a vampire. I just think the look in the face is the spitting image. I don't know if anyone out there has ever thought that. It's just something that's always popped into my head. Look at it. I was wondering if you might recognize a girl in this photograph. Que carajo estás haciendo aquí? Lorgate, cabrón! Sorry to have bothered you. Freeze! I said freeze! So playing on professional difficulty, the best way to fight these guys is let them swing in for an attack and then knife them so it'll stun them and then you get the chance to throw in a kick. That's something you'll see me doing a lot in this let's play. Because after you've kicked them to the ground, they're open to knife attacks, and the knife in this game is extremely overpowered. People don't realise that, but it's like a knife hit is about the same equivalent as a pistol hit. And when they're on the floor, they're completely vulnerable. Is everything okay? There was a hostile local. I had no choice but to neutralise him. There are still others surrounding the area. Get out of there and head toward the village. Take whatever measures necessary to save the subject. Understood. So what I usually do here, he's not a zombie, I'll run up the stairs, grab me pistol bullets, but I won't jump out the top window because that leaves it a little bit more awkward and you're a bit surrounded when you get to the bottom. So I go down the stairs and I'll jump out this bottom window. And then when they notice I'm here, let them come back. And then I just go back in, and they can follow me. Hopefully this will go well. So let them swing, knife them. While he's coming through, knife him so he falls back out. So yeah, this has actually gone wrong. Usually they follow me. I think I got a little bit impatient and went in too soon. But the idea is to get them all at that window. And while they're trying to climb through, you just keep making sure they don't get in. But that guy outsmarted me and he came in through the door. 99% of the time that would have went right, but this time, while I'm recording, it just happened not to. <laughs> Sod's law. But I can still handle these guys no problem, so there's no worries. It's as easy as that. This last guy, I don't think he's going to do much damage to me. So that's that, and that's how you do it. All three dead without having to sing fire a single shot. I mean, while playing on professional difficulty on Resident Evil 4, I try and use as little bullets as possible because you really don't get many at all. So, the gun is the last option. Try and outsmart them, get them stunned, go in with the knife while they're on the floor, knife them till death. It should work a lot of the time. Unless you're completely surrounded, which you'll probably see me do a lot later when we get to the village area. Some more crow shooting practice. 
Always useful to uh, kill these crows because this one that I'm trying to aim at right now will give me a grenade, which is very useful for the next area. For those who have played Resident Evil 4, I'm sure you know what I mean, especially on professional difficulty. On normal difficulty, you can pretty much run around this area without any problems, but I have a little tactic that I like to use, and I'll show you guys and explain along the way. Easy to avoid the traps here, just run through there. Right, for the guys with the longer weapons, you just got to take a little bit more of a step back when they swing at you. But once they miss, they're open for the stun. You just knife them. Oh, come on. That should have hit them. Also, that's pretty much what you do with all these guys. It's so easy. You don't need to use many bullets at all. Another two rounds here. That use the same tactic. Let him swing, knife him. He didn't get stunned that time, so stay back. Knife him, kick him. The good thing about when you kick them, you're not open to attack, so if one enemy's going for you and you see the opportunity to kick someone, take it because their attack will miss. It's quite a cheap tactic, but I use it every time and I don't feel bad about it. <laughs> Nothing we can do about them guys over there. Could shoot at them, but it doesn't really do nothing. One last uh, zombie in this area. If that's if you want to call them zombies. Last plaggers or whatever. Same tactic. Sometimes you may need to knife them twice, but it's no problem. Didn't even need to knife him on the floor. He does pretty easy. So, as I haven't shot any handgun bullets yet, so I'm pretty much getting stocked up for this area. Which is something you want it. You really want to be stocked up for here. Because, if you're playing professional difficulty for the first time, this area can be a little bit of a challenge. Bad question, Hunnigan. Sorry to hear that. I'm sending you a playing manual. Hope you find it useful. I'll take a look at it, thanks. Skip the playing manual, it's not really much interest to me. So, my tactic for this area, I'm sure a lot of people do it differently, but this is how I do it. I run round here, try not to get noticed straight away. Uh, miss me turn. Yeah, I haven't really played this game for a while, so if I look rusty, I apologise. So, just go straight into this building over here. Most people try and avoid it, because it spawns in a chainsaw massacre zombie. <laughs> but, you kind of want him to spawn in, because you need his rewards for killing them at the end. It becomes in very useful later in the game. And that's him. There's actually two you can get in this area, but I'm not going to be going for the second one. It makes it a little bit more awkward. I've done it before, but while recording and commentating, I don't want to make it too difficult for myself. I like to try and concentrate as best as I can while I'm commentating. So just grab all the bits, all the goodies that you can find in this place, then head up the stairs, grab the shotgun. Grab this grenade, so now I've got two, which I might have to use both. And then you want to knock this ladder down so no one can take you by surprise, just in case you get a little bit stuck with these guys here. With this, these guys, you just want to knife them till they're pretty much stunned and you get the opportunity to jump through the window. Make your way round to the back here, and then you're pretty much just camping at this little rooftop area. They'll all come round, usually like one at a time, which you can use the same technique I've been showing you. Just um, try and get them to swing for you, knife them, then knock them down, shoot them on the floor. But if you have to, you can shoot them in the kneecap. That'll stun them a little bit quicker, which is something you might want to do when it's a little bit crowded. So the chainsaw guys came a bit faster than I thought, so that's what the shotgun's for. All I ever use the shotgun for in this game is crowd control, and it's very good for that. So I'll throw a grenade just to weaken the chainsaw guy. Yeah, I don't. He came quicker than usual, and I don't want him hanging around for too long for when the rest of the zombies come. So just keep knocking him down with the shotgun any time he's getting close. If you see an opportunity and he's on his own, you can run over and knife him while he's on the ground. But I can hear in my headset that the rest of the zombies are coming, so I'm being a little bit cautious. Uh, throw another grenade just to weaken him. Maybe this will probably finish him off, but if not, I'll probably run over and knife. 
Right, so here come the rest of them. So they'll take a couple of seconds to get over here. He's already dead. Right, another shotgun. This probably might do it. Right. So I'll have a little peek over. They're all coming. And if they weren't coming, I'd have knifed them while he was on the ground. Because the knife does so much damage to them. But keep the crowd control. Use the shotgun. And that, that's all I ever pull the shotgun out for. And it's really useful for that. See, so just knife him while he's on the ground. That's finished him off. See, that's how powerful the knife is. The knife is more useful than a shotgun in this game, in my personal opinion. Some people do it differently, but... One thing you might want to do when they are in a crowd and say you have no shotgun bullets, you shoot them in the kneecap if they're all in a crowd, and that'll hopefully, not every time, but most of the time, put them in a stunned position where you can kick them. So if you can run forwards and kick them into the crowd, that'll knock them all over, and some will probably even fall off the rooftops, which can be a good or bad thing in some cases. So I think it's pretty much coming to an end. I'm sure there's those ones that spawns in coming round this corner. There they are. So just I'm just getting nosy, just checking what's coming. But you just head, stay on the rooftop, be patient. And I think this is uh, probably coming to an end now. It's uh, it just goes on for so long. I mean, if you really want, you can just run from them the whole time and not even do anything. But that's a little bit boring. It can get a little bit challenging when they're all over the place and you, you'll end up getting cornered eventually. So it's better to keep it all under control, which is what I'm doing right now. I'm getting a little bit crowded now. Try and stun one of them. See, that's what I mean. You can kick some of them off the rooftop. I think a few fell, I'm not sure. I missed that. But that's what you do when you're running low on shotty ammo. Just try and shoot one in the knee. You get them stuns. Knife them, kick them all over. And it, it's really easy. And you get used to it. it. It all just becomes... You just get used to the rhythm of it. So this all getting a little bit crowded now. And I'm low on shotgun bullets. So I want to save some of them. I don't want to have to use all my shotgun bullets. Usually when I run low on shotgun ammo, I try not to reload it. Just so when I get to the merchant later on, I can... Oh, fucked up right there, but he didn't get a bite on me. He took no energy, so it's no big of a deal. Just keep getting all these away. They're getting a little bit too close for comfort. Uh, she didn't seem to fall to the floor there, so just shoot her in the knee, kick her off the roof. So hopefully this should end soon. It is getting a bit close but sometimes that can happen sometimes it can't it's all, all about luck in the end but if you can hold them off there you go it's all done with so i managed to get through it without taking any damage one of them got hold of me but that didn't take any health off me so it's all good so it's as simple as that that's the best i can explain it to you little tutorial on how to get through the village area on professional difficulty the basic way not an Im too impressive but if you're just looking to finish professional difficulty, that's how you do it. Where's everyone going? Bingo? 